Hi, I'm Juliette and today I'm talking about bibliography management in Scrivener 3 for Windows. I was asked by a viewer if I could cover some of the more complex formatting that comes with academic papers and books. This is the first video on that subject. However, I have never submitted an academic paper and I'm never likely to do so. So if the academics watching this could have a look at the Scrivener templates and tell me which one they're more likely to use, if that's possible, then I can use that format for creating a more general video on the formatting of those templates. If not, it'll be potluck, like this video where I've used the MLA format. So bibliography management. Scrivener has no bibliography creation tool, but you can integrate it with a citation manager. To integrate your citation manager, go to the File menu, Options, General and select Citations. There you will see a button to choose your citations manager from your computer. Once you're done, click Apply and OK. Then you can access the citation manager by using Insert, Bibliography, Citations, or using Alt-Y, which brings it to the front. And then it's down to your Citation Manager's options as to what else you can do. These are the Scrivener Manual's words. Typically, you would copy and paste a citation placeholder into Scrivener, in the location where the reference mark should appear. After compiling to RTF, you would then use the Citation Manager to scan these placeholders into the final print form. Not every program or service provides RTF scanning, however. You should research the software you intend to use and make certain it is designed to work with software other than Microsoft Word. Alternatively, in the MLA format sample text, there is a Works Cited page where the text is directly typed out on the page which you can overtype. Because of the different requirements of formatting the separate elements of a citation, it would be difficult to automate this here. You do have a specific section type selected in the inspector for this page. If you don't know about section types, they are a way of defining differently formatted pages. I have a separate video on section types if you want to know more. In Section Layouts and Compile, you have a corresponding format, automatically selected, which shows the indented second line and the correct spacing for your submission. To ensure you have the correct spaces between the elements of an individual citation, I would suggest having the Show Invisible setting on while you're typing. Don't forget to let me know which academic format you prefer me to use for a run through of the general formatting. Thanks for watching, and if you've subscribed, I'll see you again next time.